Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter is Allie LaForce. Down low. There's Pokashevsky. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. And that's how you like to start the game. Boom. Straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Hardaway shot is good. That's one of the areas he's really improved. Durant's passing abilities have grown as his years in the league have grown. Here's Yao. And the layup falls. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Outside Durant. Outside McDaniels. Away team foul. First personal foul, second team foul. For three, Hardaway. The kick to Durant. Launches it. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Here's Pokashevsky. Takes it inside. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Well, when you know it, you got to show it. Outside Durant. Pass to Bamba. Six to shoot. Sabonis can't hit. Here's Orlando. It's a three-point game. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league, and that shows up most with his passing and body control. McDaniels from long range. Nice move. And Sabona slams it in. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense. No question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. Durant for three. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Yao is such a big guy. His physicality that time rewarded. First team foul. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Orlando. Their chemistry. That's what really stood out so far in this one to me. Look at the number of assists they've been able to rack up so far. And the other thing you notice is how determined they've been to get into the paint and get buckets around the rim. Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch, the full display. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Getting any look they want. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. Durant, no good. And 101 left in the first quarter of the game. Doncic with it. Durant covering. Got it. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. I'll tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. That might indeed ignite a spark in this team. And he makes a first. 
at the line for the away team. Alexei. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. The rebound by Bamba. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. The crossover. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Man, Durant is a flat-out baller, showing off his wily strength on these tough finishes. He's a thin guy, but he's a strong guy. Free throws good from Durant. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Home team follow. That's good from Doncic. Now an MVP caliber player, Doncic's drive is evident. I mean, he's somebody that wants to be a Hall of Famer when it's all said and done. And he's well on his way based on what he's done thus far. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Pokashevsky goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. From Devin Beautiful reverse using his body to shield the finish. Nicely done. Now Doncic. He's got six. Here's Yao. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. He's got 12. Doncic taking pride in setting the table for his teammates. I love his unselfishness. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. And you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge too. Don't discount that. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. West All-Stars. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Great offensive energy in that period. They're clearly on a mission. Yeah, I agree. That was a flawless offensive performance so far. I mean, the shots have been falling. They're making good decisions. That's a nice recipe there. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Inside. Here's Marjanovic. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. We know Curry has tremendous vision, and he uses it to tee up his teammates for easy shots. Just a big man playing big. No way to stop it. And we're now about a minute into the second quarter of play. Curry with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Knocked loose. To the middle. Oh, and Reed with a block. They recover it. Well, that one touched the backboard first, and it's rolled a goal 10. Count it. Yeah, he was just a skosh late on the contest. That's going to be a goal 10 for sure. You know, Nas Reed initially went undrafted in 2019. Hey, B.A., that happens to plenty of talented guys. The NBA is a hard league, and a lot of good players have to sometimes go through things to make it. Luckily, systems like the G League give players like Nas Reed an opportunity to grow and go there. So you keep growing like Reed did, and eventually you might find yourself in the NBA. Clock at six. Here's Vassell. Blocked again! Right side, Curry. Quarter two and about two minutes in. And Aldridge with the block. It's not an easy guy to get a shot up and over. Aldridge has those long arms and his timing's good, too. Bowl, no good. Reed can't hit. Boy, that's finishing the defense there. He made a good effort on that possession defensively and then closed it out with the rebound. 
Pass to Pokashevsky. Back to Vassell. And he goes in for the dunk. How about the bounce? <laughs> we can call that bounce per ounce. Can't be denied. He's a highlight reel. Always on the launch pad. Orlando calls timeout. A minute 20 left to the second quarter. And he dunks it. What a pass to set him up. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Doncic left side. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. And they're on the run. Durant for three. No luck on that one. Now Orlando takes it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Here's Yao. And a strong finish with two hands. When Yao gets the ball anywhere close to the rack, he's got one thing on his mind. Throw that thing down. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. And that one misses. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Pass to Yao. Outside for Booker. Doncic outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Booker. Now Doncic. Ooh, Durant with a steal. On up the court. Oh, now that's how you finish a break. Throw it down with force. And that's all the result of some good defensive awareness. And so it's Orlando closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up. Back after this. 33. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Outside Hardaway. Outside Durant. Pass to Sabonis. Goes back up. Back to Durant. And it's good. Two points. Durant's got five points. Boy, what a graceful athlete. I mean, Durant does a beautiful job moving and slicing through that defense, getting a high percentage shot there. Bomba with it. And it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. Second personal foul. First team foul. The free throw off the mark from Bomba. Pokashevsky in the post. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has... No response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Here's Durant. And Durant with the big finish. You know, why settle for the layup when you're this close? Durant might as well just turn it over and punch it home. I see Yao. Yep, count it. 18 points for him. Sometimes, with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. That's it fly. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Here's Orlando. Three-point lead. It's Doncic with a drive. Can't connect from short range. 
Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Here's Sabonis. It's deflected. And they're able to recover. Bomba misses. Mo Bomba. First personal foul. First team foul. That's good from Doncic. Orlando calls timeout. And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Biggest lead of the game. Driving inside. Luca. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Doncic has got nine points. Capable of slicing his way to the basket. All Doncic needs is a slip. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finisher. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. And rejected. Here's Doncic. Oh, and the jam by Doncic. And that's a double double for him now. Luca flying to the rim and putting it on top of the defender's head. And here's Sabonis outside. Keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. To the paint. Got a hand on it. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. And it's slammed in by Durant. Nice handles, tight handles, fluid handles, right into a shooting motion. Durant able to do everything on the offensive end. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. To the inside. Oh, wow! Oh, oh, oh. Watch out for love. Big finish. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That... was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Well, I tell you what, guys, the kids, the young kids like to say, that's doing too much. That falls into that category. That was too much. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. That one rocked this arena. That's the kind of dunk right there that makes you think he's going to rip down the rim. Now that is some real industrial size. That's strength right there. Orlando calls timeout.
Here's Doncic. Driving in. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. He is comfortable putting his head down and attacking. Doncic is unfazed, unflappable, even against beastly defenders. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And we've got 28 seconds left in the third. Ooh, Durant with a steal for the finish. And it's slammed in by Durant. You know, guys are a little shaky when they're around Durant because defensively he's got long arms, he's active with his hands, and that's why he comes up with those steals. Pass to Booker. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. And they'll keep possession. And they get it back. Back to Doncic. Oh, Durant with a steal. And here's Sabonis outside. Oh, he beats the buzzer just in time. Wow. Big time bucket, I'll tell you. Great clock management there. An ideal way to end the quarter with momentum on your side. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Here's Doncic. Payton with a steal. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the scales. up with Ali LaForce. Hi guys, the head coach for Providence had some instructions for his guys during the break. He told them this is a game that we can win. It's a game we should win. We've matched those guys step for step. From this point forward, let's try to force them to play at our tempo. And Ali, thanks. Pass to McDaniels. Back to Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. Back to the basics, unleashing the one-hand flush. Boy, he makes the basics look pretty outstanding, though, huh? <laughs> That's true. And I'd suggest that he stay with those basics because we've got a tight one here tonight. And Doncic hammers it home. Boy, once Doncic gets on the roll, there aren't many ways to slow him down. Huge night so far. And it's slammed in by Durant. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Orlando. Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. You know something else, guys? You know, they came out of that tunnel sprinting in a full stride sprint. That translated to the floor and lots of success in the fast break game. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Here's Yao. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Come on, man. How do you even guard Yao Ming? No wonder he draws so many fouls. This dude is skilled and humongous. 
Yao Ming. And good on the second, so he makes them both. He's basically automatic from the line. Not the guy you want to send there now. The kick to Durant to take the lead. Now here's Doncic. Here's Yao. Two points. That one goes. 22 points for him. And Yao Ming's a handful when he's this deep. I mean... Virtually impossible to guard. You can't let him get this kind of positioning. Easier said than done, though. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Doncic with it. Durant covering. Oh, Sabonis with the steal. The pull up Jay. And he recovers it. Pass to McDaniels. Now here's Bamba. Sabonis outside. Six on the shot clock. Here's McDaniels. Out to Sabonis. From outside the arc. It's hauled in by Pokashevsky. Every possession counts for them right now. That's not going to get it done. Oh, on the take. For the long strides of Yao, this guy's a big man who can eat a lot of ground up. Feels like nobody can stop him on the drive. What 11 left in the fourth. Orlando calls timeout. They're ahead by six. A minute nine left to play in the fourth quarter. left in the final quarter and it's Kevin Durant with the foul that'll be a second foul of the game we've got 108 left in the fourth quarter here's Yao that one falls great set up by Doncic there are big men and then there's Yao Ming wow 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 Durant for three the shot, no good. Now Orlando takes it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. To stop the run. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Well, you've got to know where Bamba is at all times, especially when the break is on and he's running the floor. And here's Doncic. Oh, denied by Durant. Orlando calls timeout. They lead by six. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Make some noise. Yeah, down low, down low. 34 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And, and he gets the bucket. And Orlando leads by eight. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. And, you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. And now we've got an intentional foul. Jaden McDaniels, second personal foul, fourth team foul. Good on the first. 